Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create the best and most effective build for the Mogwin Sacred Spear. This is a unique weapon that can be obtained after defeating Mog. You already know the features of this weapon. It's the longest weapon of its own class, which means you can reach targets at a very far distance with the melee attacks. But the most important feature of this weapon is its unique skill, Bloodborne Ritual, that everyone knows as Nihil. This weapon has become very popular recently, so I want to show you how to get the most out of it. I'm going to use this weapon to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. This time we are going to use the Mogwin Sacred Spear on plus 10, any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. Even though this weapon is fantastic to deal a tremendous amount of damage in just a few seconds, it is not very useful when it comes to stance damage. That's why to help me with that task I'm going to be using the club on plus 25 with the Crackblade Dash of War on the Blood Affinity. We are going to use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Dash of War to easily dodge the Radan Slide Explosion attack and to start the fight with the Bleed Boss active, we are going to use any weapon with Seppuku. I actually didn't use this weapon too much, so it's completely optional. I'm going to be using 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's armor set that will increase my damage by a total of 6% and the White Mask for a 10% damage boost with each Bleed proc. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Shard of Alexander, the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Fire Scorpion Charm and the All Lord's Talisman. Do not sleep on this talisman cause it will increase the duration of our boss by 30%, which is a very good amount of additional time. In our flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear. But if for any reason you don't want to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear, feel free to use any other tier you find useful. This weapon consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. To get the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 30 on Strength, 14 on Dexterity, 33 on Faith, and 80 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs, but if you don't want to use Hall of Shabriri cause you wouldn't like to take extra damage, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength, but be mindful that Flame Grand Me Strength doesn't last as long as Hall of Shabriri. And to build the bleed faster, I'm going to use the Swarm of Flies, it is going to be very helpful in multiple situations. And as you can see, I have my Scattershy Blessing of the level 20, and if you want to deal the max amount of damage possible to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First we are going to use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, then we are going to cast Golden Vow and use our Pickle Turtle Neck, which is completely optional but is very useful. Now we are going to use our body buff, in this case it will be Howl of Shabriri but you can use Flame Grand New Strength perfectly fine. Refill your FP, your HP and if you want as soon as you enter the boss fight cast the Swarm of Flies and it's going to help you to build up bleed faster. And with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Come on baby, come on, let's do this now baby, come on. Mr. Club? Take this. Oh, this is very good. Okay. This one we're good, I guess. Come on, <laughs> Come on baby. Come on. Oh, beautiful, bro. <laughs> the club is the bomb, baby. Nice. What's up? Oh my god. I'll take the risk. Oh, it was worth it. Oh my god, I saved my... I don't know how I'm alive, bro. Come on, come on baby, come on baby, ah let's go, I'll take it, it's good, it's good, we didn't break her stance but it's okay bro, it was nice. A little bit late, doesn't matter. Oof. Hey! 
Twice, come on, one, two, two hunter weapon, nice. Oh my god, now let's go. That is very good indeed. Now, maybe, very good. Come on, guys, let's destroy her. Let's destroy her, baby. Oh. <laughs> Crazy man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Hit their bad boy. Oh, no. oh, very good damage. Nice. Nice. He's going down with this one, I'm pretty sure. Let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. This time it has to be the good one. Come on. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I have an EDR King. I don't know why I have to cast it three times. No way, quickly. First heavy attack. In the second one I swap to my main weapon. Very nice. And here I'll try to do it. Nice. Come on. Give it to me. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! 